Hey guys, Ru here with not a bit, and in this one we're gonna continue with our pillar slash floor slash wall now because we're gonna be adding a wall. So plane and RY90 uh, or actually uh, RX90 and let's move it here somewhere on this axis and Q and solidify and yeah, make it thick. Now we need to make it bigger, so make it larger. And actually, you know what? We could scale it as two, right? Yeah, there we go. And move it up because it's a little bit too low, right? So just move it up here. Uh, PG. And we're gonna design a piece of a you know wall here, right? So we need to think about it. What you know? What do we want? I want some panels. At the same time, I want some piping and some kind of a structure at the back so and thinking how to bite this one okay let's do something like this all right and cut it through right so we can um we can bevel this right and solidify it let's copy to the other side so we're gonna get these panels symmetrical but what's in the panel is gonna be asymmetrical right so now uh, this background here this backdrop here could be completely different so let's grab this and let's uh, drop a line here in the middle and let's uh, control b this and we're going to uh, em macro it so will it work probably it'll work. so let's sharpen this first and then em macro it um you can't need a macro in a live uh, geo so do something like this but this is actually going to uh, collapse the top here do we want this um i don't think so so we're gonna do it differently okay um uh, collapse this one alt s and um and so um, e cancel and alt s and move it in and let's remove these ones. Now the blender has this uh, non-manifold extrude, but it just you know doesn't do it for me on these uh, edges. It doesn't work really as intended uh, for me. So I'm not using it here. I'm just going to do it manually because it's faster. It's the same result really. Now um, I want something in here. So let's uh, let's actually let's collapse this a little bit deeper. And then let's grab this uh, curve extract and move it forward uh, to here. And then let's uh, make it a little bit more narrow, just a little bit, right? So it stands out. There we go. Alt V and cavity because reasons. And then let's do some uh, cuts in here. So end gone and how I look in here actually because I want to see this. Okay, so we could start cutting somewhere here like this, for example, and then, you know, the rest of it's not going to be visible. So, um, in fact, maybe we could cut it like this or like this, right? something like this and just slice it and mirror this and mirror this one. So, and there you go. And mirror this one. Boom. Right. So that's mirrored, and then we will grab this one in the middle and sharpen this, and in fact, sharpen all of them. So, operations and control, and then still not sharpened. Come on, dude, where is it? Uh, let's select everything and operations multiply. There we go. So now we can grab this and we can chamfer this, right. Awesome, and we're going to um, we're going to make this hollow in the in the middle. So cut a hole inside here like this, right? And I'm going to chamfer it as well, like this. So cut it through, and you know mirror this, and then I'm going to cut through it here. So. I'm going to cut an indentation first, uh, so just a little bit of a cut, like this. And I'm going to move this cut inside, so let's grab the... Um, let's grab this cutter in the middle here, and let's move it a little bit further away, so this wall here is a bit thicker. In fact, we can uh, 
and narrow it down a bit there we go and then uh, we're going to apply we're going to apply this modifier in the middle so not this one but this one so we're gonna apply this one right and oh turn it on there we go now let's go to the front and you know let's uh, not solidify it let's bevel this right so we can see the shape a little bit better um bevel not this one the shape come on bevel there we go and weighted normals okay go to box right and cut it in here like this right and bevel and v for array and just array it down like that okay and now let's alt h to recover this cutter from the middle here this one let's grab this cutter and let's mirror this across so it's already mirrored right so mirror this actually across this one all right so mirror it across this one grab this cutter and operations multiply right now let's scale it down shift z scale it down and we're gonna switch it to solid so go to settings and shade solid boom and now uh, we get this beam inside okay so uh, we're gonna have to switch it uh, move it to collection so collection shift 2 and we're gonna be left with this in the middle right which is exactly what we want now this one should be mirrored as well because it's cut in the middle are not symmetrical and now we can actually you know play some um, play with some shapes in there so um we can grab this one and and slice it so slice it like this we cannot see the bottom so it's fine you see and you got these kind of like beams in the middle or whatnot and uh, we could just uh, you know grab this um, and uh, apply modifier and then grab these four and simply chamfer them and bevel right so let me see this let's turn this bevel off and bevel press one and weighted normals so operations and weighted normals and now we got this beam inside which is pretty cool right okay kind of like a okay now so we need some pipings in here so let's grab a circle and you know um go to go to cutter and select this and let's just grab two holes in here but bigger ones okay so one and and the other one on the other side so this is mirrored right which is a problem so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the mirror off um or we're gonna move the boolean under the mirror okay so we're gonna apply the mirror now right but the boolean is gonna stay on this side only and we're going to array this uh to the side so here right now let's move it on the x-axis here and let's uh uh, run a mark here and let's sharpen this okay so that's that and then we're going to um, run something here so uh, shift uh, shift D right and P to its own selection select this circle select all the verts shift one which is gonna create vert in the middle and then E E Y and move it in here right and then simply E here and E, Z, and move it up, okay? And then we're going to uh, apply scale and settings and uh, mesh tools, curve extract, right? And uh, before we actually do this, uh, let's maybe bevel these. So control shift B. And again, curve extract and 1s and control 2. 
then we got this piping going on right so we got one pipe and shift x and second pipe all right um so visual to mesh the top could be just simply thicker or something so just grab this and um you know let's split this so Control b select this make it larger and uh, close this with a face and simply g gz and move it up and uh, we're gonna copy this to the side so sharpen and bevel right and then we can just add some elements of interest here so for example we could just uh, uh, select this um, this part right so select this part here and control plus and expand it up to here and we could just simply uh, add some you know like a paneling on this pipe and grab a box and make it straight and this one is actually diagonal that's pretty cool i don't mind this being diagonal so that's that and we could have some kind of uh, you know um select these two and as the zero oh um Select this one, SC0, there we go. And this one too. SC0. Let's select both of them and Control B and uh, EM Macro and, you know, um, either inside or outside. Maybe inside is cool, something like this. Right, so we got this, you know, this pipe here and, uh, um, we could have a pipe here as well similar one right so uh, select both and shift dx and move it in here it's got two pipes we could have some kind of a uh, connection between them as well you know so like for example grab this and let me just let me just grab this one okay and sc0 and move it down and control b and you know um select it so uh let's shift d this <coughs> and p and then let's grab this go to top view and select half of this right and remove words and select these edges all right and gx and move them here and then simply uh, mirror this across what? Um, put a cursor in the middle here, between them. Did it work? No, it didn't, right? So let me see this. Uh, shift S to geometry and Shift S to select it. Boom, it's in the middle now. So now we can mirror this across, uh, across cursor. Right, boom, and then um, operations and I mean mesh tools. Sorry, no, actually, yeah, operations and where is it? Uh, curve extract. Where was it? Here. S one. Shift click it, and you know you got this kind of piping effect here, right? And a connector, would not. Uh, we can, you know, we can solidify. I mean, sharpen this and grab this back here uh, the back part right so this one oh needs to be solidified so smart apply and come on so like these two and you know uh, insert it and simply connect it to the wall right so it's actually linked with with the wall right no jokes and uh, it's a little bit too crazy so we're just going to you know uh, make it slightly hollow-ish and same here so mm, you know uh, view front and have a bit of fun right b and then this should do select this uh, drop a loop here, control B 
and in a macro and inside it, you know. I think you got this cool shape going on, right? And then the other side should be a bit different because reasons, right? So what we could do, for example, is just create simple paneling in here, you know. So uh, do something like this, V, X, and create like maybe five panels preferably in a view mode so right so one more time select it b v x and you know there you go and cut it and in fact shift t we can taper it the only problem is that um, it's a little bit too far away right so one more time um, one more time, B, V, X, oh, it's a little bit too big, but uh, we can make it fit, so move it in, and scale this one in closely, right, so now when you taper this, it's actually going to affect it pretty heavily, so, right, so go here and let's see how it looks shift 2 um it's a little bit loud um so maybe maybe we could uh remove some of them or uh, move them a little bit further away from the wall how is this that's a little bit but it's still f you know still very loud so here's an idea Grab this one and um, apply smart apply select mm, select these two top ones and uh, maybe three top ones right and remove them okay so remove these and just have two panels in the bottom and we're gonna have something different on top some kind of uh, uh, I don't know. So J, B, and E, and extrude it outside, and combine this with the shape, and then simply scale it in. So something like this, sharpen. There's no bevel on it, so we need a bevel. And uh, we got something like this, which is pretty cool. And these could be. Uh, this panel could be, you know, feather slightly cut here um, on just one side, just to bring some interest. And there you go. I think that's pretty cool. This could be some kind of a ventilation, so we could insert it right and insert it in, set it a little bit more, extrude it, and then simply run, uh, you know run uh, an array here of colors right so I'll do something like this and cut it in and then run an edge here to connect this so select this wall run the edge here to fix these connections and the bevel is way too big right so we're gonna just you know calm calm it down a bit there we go so now you see we got this uh uh, pretty cool scene a bit of a wall with some support beam and uh, and a flooring anyway guys that's it hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and as usual links to all the add-ons like hard ups and box cutter are in the video description so if you you know are interested in getting them go ahead through the links you're gonna help me as well Thanks for watching, catch you next video. What is this garbage here? Oh, we don't need this. Hey, double geo. Fascinating. You know, this background here is a little bit too plain for my liking, so I'm gonna fix this a bit. Hey. There you go. That's better. Cool. Alright guys.
Catch you in the next video.